feeling like I can now. New era, I ain't looking for a handout. Hard work separate me, make me stand out. It separate me, make me stand out. Fans on me got me feeling like I can now. New era, I ain't looking for a handout. Hard work separate me, make me stand out. It separate me, make me stand out. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, they're all yours. Awesome. So I'm going to cover the, um, the aspects of, of HR. So Jeremy Havlick, um, I've been at Vans for about 11 years now. You have to be willing to, to really push yourself and to move. Um, and it takes effort, you know? We all have something um, that we should be doing, right? Like all of us know that exercising and eating well is good for you, right? But it takes effort, it takes challenge, it makes you uncomfortable and you fail, right? It's like, and it's easier to just be complacent and just do nothing, right? And so sometimes we get stuck in those types of, um, those mentalities, and so that's where we try to coach people where it's like, you will, the more effort you put into something, the more you're gonna get out of it. How important is coachability when it comes to the HR room? Is that a big thing you look for in people as well? Coachability, yeah, for sure. It's, but it, the one of the questions you have to ask yourself is how do you show that you're coachable? And so as you as an interviewer, those are probably the, where the practice questions really come up. So if I'm really kind of looking at is Maxwell coachable and I ask those questions, your answer could be, could be like, yes, I started off this way. I, uh, I reached out to my, my manager, my teacher, my colleague, and um, I learned this and I, this is what I would have done differently and this is what I would do differently going forward. It kind of shows that kind of coachability, that trainability as well too. We're going to get in our groups. Uh, so each job, right? You're going to talk amongst each other. What's going to be one position that we're going to create? So you're gonna come up with those job descriptions. You can look them up online. You're actually gonna write out a detailed job description. The responsibilities would be um, greeting customers. It would also be... Um, Making sure the products are intact. Okay, put dash job summary and then should we put it in the middle and then maybe put it on the sides? Like, it needs to have a specialized title. Because if you just say we're looking for a manager, you can have some old lady named Gertrude from Home Goods come in and apply. We don't want that. We need we need specific, a specific kind of manager. So, do we have any idea of the positions that we're going to be hiring for? Yeah. You do already? What's that? We're going to do a graphic designer, and then we're also going to do a media and marketing specialist. I'm thinking about um, in-house grab. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> Say it again. I, I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do sales manager. Okay, okay yeah, right, right. that was a good one. A part of Lee, uh, Lee Image, you know, we're a good consulting firm. We basically help small fashion businesses oh, grow their business. You know, they come to us for help. Um, we pay 150 an hour, and you can work. <laughs> oh, oh, where's this, where's the spreadsheet? Where, I don't believe that. Bro, Somebody bro. lying. Bro. What position? Oh, 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 yeah. Off the lot, you work with us. You know, gonna be rich, man. We gonna make you. I mean, so make sure you got some money. You know what I mean? We're saying is um, um, self advocacy. Are you going to be able to speak up for yourself and kind of say what you want? Because when we're starting to get to this design and these next steps, it's going to be a lot of. Um, everybody's going to have their own idea. Everybody's going to want to do this, want to go and do that. And your idea, especially when it gets into like the career uh, and the job fields, you'll get overlooked real quick if you don't speak up and share your ideas. And all of y'all have something different to bring to the table. So we wanted people that wanted to be here and that will speak up and kind of bring that out of the program. We are thankful to have you all here. Like it's a privilege for us to be able to work with you. We selected everybody here and we see a lot of potential and we're thankful to be a part of the process that you know will lead to who knows what. So when it comes to professional spaces, if you're interviewing for a job, you need to be sitting there saying, is this the right place for me? You know, is this gonna match my working style? Do I like this person that I'm interviewing with right now? If they're gonna be my manager, is this the type of person I wanna be interacting with on a day to day? Is this type of company culture that I wanna be involved with? We often are made to think that we have to prove ourselves to whoever's sitting across that table from us, but it'll work out better not only for you, but also for the company or whoever's on the other side of the table if you also feel, like Mr. Kevin was saying, if you also feel excited.